Yo ho my coloring mateys. This is Megan the Colorful Pirate and I'm going to be showing you December's haul today. Uh, someday maybe I'll get all caught up and show you what I'm buying when I buy it but <laughs> who knows. Anyway this is my coloring journal. This is the what I created for December. I like it. I use a lot of pip stick stickers and um, some washi tape stickers. I really like the glitter lace. Shiny. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I'll set this as hot. Um, we'll show just the two supplies that I got. First, I ordered the full set of 120 um, Stadler watered based markers so there are a lot of markers in here i organize them the way that i like to have them and i put you can get these little sticker uh labels at walmart and then put a you know piece of clear tape around them and that works pretty well because i do not have any kind of number or color on them um i really like these for the really intricate uh Uh, color by numbers that I've I like to do um, because they have this this much thinner tip. Um, see if I can get those two. See, it's a very nice thin tip, and then a broader tip, which also still has a pretty nice tip on it. So you can get into small spots. I haven't had too many issues with this end being dry, like I have with like my fine liners and stuff. I do try to store this kind of on its side. I have to remember myself to do that. But there are a ton of colors in here. So, get focused. Hello, phone. There you go. Um, yeah, so here's the colors. A lot of the reds are kind of the same. I mean, honestly, 15 to 19 are a little bit of difference, but. I uh, could use more purples. Definitely going to use more greens. Um, but in addition to, you know, my uh, Crayola Super Tips and various other water-based marker Ohuhus that I have in here. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got a good amount. Oh, yeah, Tombos. I've got a good amount of water-based markers now. Iconic Fine Liners. Um... So if I'm missing a color, I can I can find it. <laughs> but these have pretty much done everything that I need them to. So then the only other supply that I got are the um, it's the the first set of Erosia tins, but it's the last set for me. So I have all of them now, and I will show you. I'm running out of room in my coloring pencils part. Um. So I put them all on one page. <coughs> Excuse me. And here you can see all the beautiful colors. Um, Erosiaton are they're a harder pencil. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with this phone? Okay, let's try over here. Okay, uh, they're a harder pencil. You gotta layer them. I, I feel like they're a little bit more like Faber Castell. Um, I'm using them in a, in a picture right now, and it's, you know, it's, they don't shmoosh the way that Prismacolors or other wax base do, but they also don't give you that shine, that, like, waxy, so, you know, it depends on what you're going for. So, I really like these erosia tins. I, I love that you have these nice pale, um, pale tones. You got a fluorescent set, a very pale tone, and then these nice deep and vivid tones so there's there's a wide variety here um and uh yeah i think each volume each set was kind of lance you know there's some sort of landscape that it's um attuned to like this one i want to say was like i don't know i can't tell there was like forest rainforest and seashore or something like that so yeah, I'm glad I finished that set. Look 
like put them on your list in Amazon and then just keep checking them for when they, cause you know, they usually sell for like 60, $70 a box. But I, when I'd see it drop down to 30, 35, I bought them. And so that's, you know, like a dollar pencil, but I think they're really nice. They hold their, their tip really well. You don't have to sharpen them to oblivion. Uh, I feel like I color one picture with my Prisma sometimes and, and the pencil is gone. Um, so yeah, so, uh, I guess another supply type thing is this, uh, practical color combinations by Naomi Kumo. I feel like I already showed this in a video or at least I talked about it, but I actually did get it in December. So I thought I'd show it again. Um, this is available again. It was really hard to find. Um, and I, uh, or it was like impossible to find for a while when I first started looking for it. But then I guess they did, they did a reprint or something because you can get it on Amazon now. It has these just wonderful, very easy to use and flip through um, color combinations, lots of information that's interesting about the colors and like the theme. And then these different, um, you know, two color combinations, three color combinations, four and five to kind of give you an idea of what you might want to do. Um, sorry for the glare. They're very shiny pages. Uh, so I'm working on one here right now. And I'm, I'm kind of working from this, which is, uh, you'll see when I finish it, but there's a wide range of, uh, various and they're grouped. So yeah, I, I, I really like this book. So we'll start with uh, the book outlet haul that I did. Um, I got the World of Warcraft, an adult coloring book uh, by Blizzard. I played the original Warcrafts, uh, Warcraft 1, 2, 3. I have never played World of War Warcraft, even though I do like MMOs. Um, but I don't know. I just I don't I don't really like the style, or I've heard a lot of bad things about the fan base. And I was always a Final Fantasy girl um, since I was a little, and I got my first PlayStation um, in Final Fantasy VII. So I've been playing uh, Final Four. Final Fantasy XIV was my big go-to for a while until we moved out to the country and didn't have decent internet. But now that we have decent internet, I've started playing Elder Scrolls Online, which is why I haven't been getting as much coloring done, but it's so nice to just wander around this beautiful world and lore. It's like an interactive book to me. I don't like all the competition and the min-maxing and the, the sweaty players who gotta like have everything to the utmost degree, but I enjoy the quests and the lore. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's like reading a book, but you get to actually, like, kill stuff. Um, <laughs> so this is a really interesting book. The paper is, um, it's not cardstock. It's not Amazon print, but it, it's not, it's not great, great. Um, I probably wouldn't put any water-based anything on it. Maybe, I would try maybe water-based. There's a lot more orcs, um, than I was expecting. Like, I kind of wanted more goofy-looking girls. A lot of shields. Maybe if I knew more of the lore. I mean, I do know. I was like a rock and a dwarf. I, I know the old lore. I don't know the... Well, that's... That's racy. Um, but still pretty cool. And, you know, book outlet. Like eight bucks maybe for this book. Nice panda. I do want to play World of Warcraft sometime. Um, did I pay $9 for this? Because it's like $13 here. I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, the artist. Uh, oh, and in the beginning you have these really cool uh, full colored art examples that I think are really neat. I got the Jane Austen Wit and Wisdom She Said It Best by Kimma Parrish who also did the Yoga Animals book. If you have that one. I thought this one was pretty cool. It's just, you know, um, I need to read more Jane Austen or any of it. Actually, I still want to. I love Bridgerton. 
I know that's not Jane Austen, but growing up, we watched, you know, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, all that stuff. Those are all Jane Austen, right? <laughs> um, so it's just one of those things on my list of things to read. Uh, I like the art style. I like the, the quotes. Uh, yeah, Sense and Sensibility. I, I looked at the Dolly Parton one, but it was like way too country for me. Not enough glam, which I think, you know, Dolly Parton's very glam. Even though she may be country. I love Dolly Parton, but I just like this one better. This one was definitely like three or four bucks. Um, I say that's like a, a cardstock, light, light cardstock. So I love their animals. Without music, life would be a blank for me. Uh, the colorful, Color Me Mindful series. This is by Anastasia Catris. I don't know if she does all of them, but they've been kind of on my radar for a long time. I think I like the Color Me Mindful Mermaids and better, but this one was on Book Outlet for very cheap. I mean, the book itself, well, this one's also $13 to begin with, but this one was a couple bucks. I know that. that. Because I added this... I think, no, it wasn't this one I added. Anyway, <laughs> this is all birds. Birds, birds, birds. Birds, birds. Birds, birds. I guess I like coloring birds because I have colored quite a few of them without really, you know, until I realized, wow, I've been coloring a lot of birds. I don't particularly go outside to do bird watching, but, um... <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, very particularly zen doodly kind of stuff, but fun. This is the one I definitely added to the cart just to get to the 35. Um, and I, it's it's not my favorite coloring book. It's not my least favorite, which I did. I got two of my least favorite books in this haul that I've ever gotten. So this would be close to the third of my least favorite um, it's Sweet Sayings by Bonnie Lynn DeMatch and Deborah Muller, a Zen Doodle page. But, um, yeah, it's <laughs> Let Your Dreams Guide You. I like this one. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. But there are some friends forever. Like, no, friends are actually not forever. Have a baby and find out how many friends you still have. So that's what I learned. Uh, you are beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just, it's trite. I wasn't expecting much. But sometimes, uh, maybe when you're depressed or anxious, maybe something like this would help. It's the only book that I've ever gotten that's just all quotes. So, see how it goes. Uh, 52 Sunsets, A Year of Calm Coloring by Josh Figueroa. This is one-sided, not quite cardstock. Um, really weird, uh, cutting of the images. Um, but it's a lot of interesting, what? Did she just stab the pumpkin? Oh no, there's a, there's a, see, yeah, there's like a pumpkin face there, but why can't I see the whole pumpkin? I don't know. Some interesting scenes, nature scenes. The cover page? Not quite the cover page, but. What's this looking on camera? Is that better? There you go. No comma lock. Whoa. Oh my god, why is this not. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. I like this one. Look at his little, little hooky feet. Look at his little hooky feet. Mm. Yeah. It's alright. Oh, there's a really creepy Easter one. Like that bunny. It's like the bunny from Monty Python is about to attack. It's just luring you in with the Easter stuff. But it's about, it's about to murder you. That's the cover. <laughs> what is wrong with this horse? He spent so much time detailing the tree that they just kind of, kind of 
kind of just gave up on the horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that book. Um, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Second time I filmed this. Uh, so let's see. I got Aztecs and Maya. 100 Designs Art Therapy. Um, really unique book. I think the Inca and the Maya and the Olmecs and all that are very, very interesting, very mysterious um, cultures that I wish we knew more about. Um, this is by Michelle Soliak. So, and, and Jackie Snow. Hmm. Uh, yeah, really interesting. I think, um, inspired by the art of the people. It'd be nice to be able to buy a coloring book like this from the people. This is a light card stock like this. This is really cool. I bet, um. But do a robot with like a page like this. So yeah, lots of weird geometry. Oh, I can't remember the name of the style. Huckle? No. I don't know. I had some friends that were really into the whole um twenty twelve the world is gonna well not not that the world was gonna end, but like that there was gonna be like this this sea change that like all this all these people went down to the pyramids in South America to, to meditate and usher in the new age uh, BS consciousness. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Look where we're at now. <laughs> Out there blowing smoke up each other's asses with the uh, with their sage fan. I just <laughs> I used to hang out with like some pretty weirdo people. Um, but I learned some things <laughs> about other cultures, some things I need to unlearn too, but yeah, I, I think this book is pretty cool. I'm glad I have it in my little collection of art therapies. This is really cool. Um, anyway. I found out that Book Depository has the Tangle series. Tangle Bay, Tangle Wood, Tangle Magic. Um, one of these I got on Amazon, though, for cheaper. They may be used, but I don't think there were any pictures colored. So these are all by Jessica Palmer. Um, kind of had my on for a while. They're pretty weird uh, as far as like the line art. If you're if you need line art to be cohesive and make sense, then this is not a book for you. Um, it reminds me a little bit more of like Stephanie Law style or something. They're just, um, you don't really know what they are. They're just sort of uh, there. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know what I mean? Or like it, it, it just kind of, ooh, the lines don't finish the shape. Some people don't like that, but you can get creative. You can decide where the line should end. Um, what's interesting is some of these compositions are just, just a little weird, but like weird enough that I, I, I like it. You know, what, what's going on here? I mean, they're seals, but like, what? Um, mermaid riding a seahorse. Puffins. You know, just uh, oceany themed. I like this one. With the moon and the sun and the, they're looking at each other. I like this with like this. This is the kind of stuff I I find really interesting in these books of hers. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, sorry. Okay. Um, this is like Elizabethan mermaid. Fish coming out of some boots. Uh, this mermaid at her. Fancy, fancy, schmancy. Vanity. And this, this is a, a pretty quality book. Like, 
This is a pretty good uh, cardstock. It's it's got that like smooth, but not velvety, but uh, uh, it just it feels nice. Um, feels nice paper, and they are sewn pages, so they're not coming out. Like I love this one. <laughs> These donkeys just hanging out the ocean. Crab's got his toe. Seagull has a crown. I mean, it's just uh, it's whimsical. I guess you could call it. But see, this is where I think some people would would get lost in what is hair, what is algae, what, where is the mermaid going? But I I I, I like it. I come to find I kind of like janky art styles. Like at first I didn't like Deborah Muller, but now I'm a fan. Um, this is weird and unique. I love this one. This one's really cool too. So yep, yeah, that's Tangle Bay, Tangle Wood. This is uh the paper is mm, probably the same, but it's cream. It's cream colored. And so, we have, how are we doing on the, yeah, okay. Uh, some more delicate line work, bigger open spaces in this. A um, bit more zindoodly bops. Look at that. Well, octopus tree. Hedgehog with stars, the gypsy wagon. Um, this one's cool. I thought about doing this one for the door prompt a while back. I like this, like stained glass deer window, and this weird tree with the trippy designs in it. It's pretty cool too. Her, I guess I like her sun and her moons kind of remind me, you know, like, like, you know, what I have on my desk here, this tapestry. And it all kind of throws back to my grand, my great grandma had some big old metal thing on her shed that I used to like looking at when I swang on the cheap swing set she had. Left an impression. That's cool. Um, and these little things, so each one of these books is, does have quote-unquote hidden objects. Um, like this. So these are some jewels hidden in tangle wood. And so they're, they, 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 they merge in with the images pretty well. Or they'll, they'll just be like a bird carrying it, you know? So it's not, it's not a soccer ball in the middle of your image. And Tangle Magic, this one I like a lot. I thought I ordered both this one and the other one of those two uh, in the large format from Book Depository because I do have that, uh, but I, I didn't. I somehow managed to only order this one in large format, but that's okay. Um, this one's my favorite. It is very weird. So here you still have some of these these gems, but um, look at that, <laughs> that weirdo dragon man. Uh, here's a oh, cat coming out of a, out of a lamp. I need to put a, need to put a memory in that one because maybe I'll do that one for the Arabian Nights prompt. I don't know. I already tried to do one of the monthly prompts for Olgarani out of this book. Um, let's we'll see. It didn't. Didn't end up happening. Like, here's some bugs having tea. This one is super uh, surreal and magical. This, this guy. Um, yeah. Wait, I like this one. I like, I like a lot of these. These doggies having a fancy outdoor nighttime party. A bird pope. Magical bird pope. Uh, very interesting. Princess and the Pea reference. Just 
bugs. So yeah, I was trying to do this one for the ice prompt, snow prompt. But now that I look at it again, I don't think it's that bad. I think it still needs a lot of work. Um, I was trying to do ink tents on here, and so it did not bleed through at all. It's a little bit, you know, warped. Um, and then I found my soft pastel applicator thing finally, <laughs> and so I wasn't going to do the whole thing in ink tents. It's, it's hard to do backgrounds in ink tents, but I was doing a double layer here and it started to look okay. Um, so I just need to figure out how, what to do with buildings. I guess they're just boring colors. Um, gray, brown, not very exciting for me. Um, but yeah, I was going to paint like metallic paint and then do white, you know, paint pen to bring back the snowflakes and stuff. And it's supposed to be like the sun coming up. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll still work on it someday, maybe. Um, uh, what I So yeah, this one is... This party, they're all dancing, being weird. Mandrake roots. Shamrock. These uh, crows, ravens, yelling at diamonds. Get out of here. I love these two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's those really cool books by Jessica Palmer. I got this gigantic book, Legendary Worlds, uh, I think colored by Maya. Reminded me because she got a couple of these and they were on available on Amazon again after being not available the last time I looked for them. Um, so this has multiple authors, art artists. Um, oh god, it's so huge! What what is that? What is what's that? Oh, what's this? Because it's a shadow. Okay, anyway. You have to deal with it because this is huge. There's gnome painting. There's fairies flying. More fairies flying. Uh, they're not all double. So this is an underwater scene. And then this is not an underwater scene. So um, this is not double, even though it could be. This I thought was cool. It was kind of... Kind of ancient tech fairy world. Wait, does he have wings or is that a bug? That's a bug. Maybe it's an alien. Ooh. Chillabite. They're looking up into a um, city. Kind of like, I guess, Tokyo. Here you have some... Remember that meme? Hmm, the Velociraptor Claw guy. Actually, they're all memes. Oh god, they're all memes. That... That's... I think that's Petal Bear. That's not cool. Um... Yeah, there's just a... Uh, it's big. It's nice cardstock. Lots of interesting things to color. But look, look at this weird guy. See this creature right here? What is this? A like, really close planet of some sort? Maybe the top of mushrooms with flowers on them. It's really interesting perspectives and ideas in this book. Like, look at the perspective on this. You have your beetle thing flying up and then you've got that like weird 360 camera effect and then you have some of this style this is creepy it's a face and this is just a bear so there's a lot of fantastical stuff and then there's just regular life stuff so wow look how big those are compared to the tractor yeah so maybe they're not all maybe some of them are pretty weird 
And I picked up a uh, Mythographic Dreamweaver <clears throat> by uh, Alessandra Fuzzi. This one's pretty cool. Very surreal, very magical, very detailed. But I've seen, uh, I think, Fusulfi? Fusulfi? Fusulfi on Instagram coloring some of these and they came out amazing. So it's just a matter of like jumping in there and trying to figure it out. I like this one. The emo kid and me. Emo goth kid. So then um, I'm going to show you a couple images from the PDFs that I got. I ordered uh, more from Edwina McNamee because she had given me a coupon code with my first order and you can't get uh, the Tiern and a Log PDF or like book anymore on Amazon. Um, or I think it was just that one. And then I also got Winter Dreamlings. Um, it's really cute images. And I got uh, also Dreamlings in PDF format. And I think that they're really cool. So um, I'm just showing you the, the, the images she already has on the site. Um, so you can decide if you want to go order them. I'll link it down below. So then we are on to the last stack, which is Amazon prints. And I wanted to say thank you to people who have been clicking on my Amazon affiliate links and then ordering things. In case you don't know how that works, um, if you click on an Amazon affiliate link on somebody's page or video or whatever, and you go to Amazon, um, the next order that you make will, the entire thing, part of it will, part of that money that you spend on that will be, um, given to the person whose link you followed. So it's like 1% or 2% or something like that. But I've made like 15 bucks on it so far. So I did order um, some books. <laughs> so I'll wear books to show you uh, with that. So thank you for clicking on my links. And if you want to support, um, you know, other creators, people that you like, go look. Anytime you're ordering anything from Amazon, go click somebody's affiliate link first. Because it's like, that's how you got to Amazon. And then they reward their affiliates by giving them a little piece of anything that when you got to Amazon, you then bought. So, um, I think that's a pretty cool system, uh, and a way to support while still doing what you were already going to do, which is order things from Amazon. Um, I also, somebody followed my Lyrica link and made a pretty big order from Lyrica. So I got, you know, I got my, um, my percent of that, which was, uh, I think like 10% of their first order or something. I don't know. It was pretty big. I got like 16 bucks off of one order um, from there. So I made an order and I'm waiting <laughs> for those books to arrive now. But thank you. Thank you for clicking on those links and thank you for using the codes. <clears throat> so back to Amazon printed books. Here is Avant Garden, a surreal coloring book by Ryan Vai. And this is a very interesting Amazon print book. Uh, Victorian heads on animal bodies <laughs> or animal bodies with Victorian heads. A lot of the real women don't really have faces, but then you have like your animal. Um, <laughs> I just like it. It's simple, but it's weird and it's fancy. Like a butterfly head a lady and a giraffe with a human head and um, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Uh, that is a huge head there. Oh my goodness. They all have a little very, oh, excuse me, melancholia. Oh, just hanging out with the slugs and the snails. Ginkgo hypnosis. So, yeah, pretty cool in there. Um, I picked up Enchanted Winter by Deborah Muller, and uh, this one I like. It reminds me of the Midsummer Dream book a lot, like similar style and uh, 
world building, I guess, but uh, it's all um, it's like same characters, but it's in winter instead, and I didn't color anything in it, even though I really should have. <laughs> this is super cute. I, I don't know. These are just, I love this one. With the, the stones and the little pagan ritual going on. The Yuletide. Um. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, why am I yawning? Uh, I got, this is the last color by color season books that I needed. So I have this one now. I haven't done anything in it yet. But now I have all the seasons to work in. Uh, that was by Kira Shoshniba. Uh, Christmas Tiny Homes by R.J. Hampson. This one uh, has his signature art style in the front half. And then the back half was like uh, to build your own Christmas village, which maybe when my son's a little bit older, we can try to do. Interesting idea. Um, <clears throat> Christmas Animals by Morgana Sky, And this one is adorable. I love it. Oh, they're so cute. And just really clean cut designs. Adorable. Look at this poor kitty. The deer. Oh, more deer. Oh, deer. I love this one. <laughs> this doofy goat. Uh, bunny with some presents. I love this one too. It's so cute. They look concerned. <clears throat> and I was looking for more of this. <laughs> I ordered this monstrosity. Um, this is the worst coloring book that I've ever gotten. Um, Big Kids Coloring Book of Animal Christmas by Dawn D. Bower, PhD, um, with her glamour shot on the back. Um, she says she's a PhD, but then she doesn't talk about, she talks about her bachelor's degree, but doesn't tell you what her PhD is in. Um, but... Uh, so there's like a whole bunch of extra images. Oh look, some photos she put in the black and white filter. And then, oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. My son <coughs> didn't mind looking at him, but I thought for sure he would be terrified. But he doesn't know what he's looking at. I just, I can't. It's so bad. What is this? What is that? It says, Kitty is practicing to pounce on Santa when he comes down the chimney from a Santa hat. Dude, if that came at me, I would, I would, I would die. I would just, I would be terrified. It's just, it's so, the, the, the dot work, the, it's, it, and then the solid lines and just, it's just hideous. What is going on? It's supposed to be possums. Like, I, I, like, look, I can't color or draw for either. I don't even really try. Like, <laughs> but I'm also not publishing coloring books online. Like, <laughs> where's the frog? Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> It's terrifying. It's just, ugh. Oh, it's just elephant. What is wrong with this elephant? Why is he pop -marked? I just, I don't know. I would have asked for a refund, but honestly, I, I let my kid have it, and he went to town coloring the cookies and the milk and beaks. <laughs> And then this. Now, I did get, um, I like their other book. This 
one, right? So, oh my goodness. why my tv just turned like on like that um so like this one's nice it's it's not the best paper in the world it's not cardstock but it's not terrible and the, the printing is nice you know uh it's you can tell where the spaces are to color um but this one <laughs> I, I think i got it from bacalaret um it is on, like, kids coloring paper from the 80s. It's, it's, it's terrible. You can see through it. Um, the designs are not rendered, like, in very legible. I mean, I don't know. I could still try to color it with colored pencils. I mean, they'd probably do, some of them... We do pretty good with the texture. <laughs> um, just the, the quality of the paper is terrible. Um, so, let's see. It. This book was 10 bucks. This one was 13. <sighs> like, the quality is so wildly different. I, I just, I don't know. So, yeah, I believe that that is it. I thank you for watching my video. Thank you for clicking my affiliate links. And I hope that your coloring cart stays full and you like everything that you're coloring on right now. And I will see you in the next video.